the day for much of England and Wales, where it's largely fine and dry. Scattered showers further north, but the outlook is turning more unsettled. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Apart from the weather, <laughs> for Wimbledon and the Caribbean. Yes, it's just getting worse. So yesterday I said that it was the first hurricane of the season, mm. the earliest we've had a Category 4. These were the scenes when it moved through Barbados yesterday, strophic storm. So it's heading its way westwards. There are warnings at the moment across Haiti and the Dominican Republic, but it has its sights set on Jamaica as a major hurricane from the middle of this week. It will easily bring down houses and trees that have winds of up to 160 miles an hour, waves of up to five feet, and a foot's worth of rain is set to fall. So things there are set to get a lot worse before they get any better. And that potentially could well impact our weather patterns as we head into next week because those storms move their way up across America and then interact with the jet stream that then brings weather systems across our shores. So that's all to play for for next week. But for today, it is one of sunshine and showers, but pretty mixed fortune. Showers most likely across the north, dry further south, but a fairly cool feel for many of us. Now, the latest satellite shows a fair bit of cloud and the cloud thick through eastern areas this morning is where it's fairly damp and drizzly. Best of any brightness is out to Towards the west. Now, as we head through the day, it's Scotland, northern England, parts of Wales that see sunny spells and scattered showers. Elsewhere, we have a little bit of brightness around. So today, with light winds, and if you get that sunshine, temperatures between 16 and 20 degrees, so pretty much where it should be for the time of year, feeling pretty cool, especially compared to the heat wave we were in last week. Now, as we head through this evening and overnight tonight, we then see an actual proper weather front moving in, bringing with it cloud and rain. This heralds a much wetter day for tomorrow. So tomorrow's cloudy and wet with rain for many. Yes, it's a cloudier start to the day for many of us and the winds are coming from the north. So for Andy, who's in Norfolk, it's cloudy skies, grey, damp and drizzly. But things should brighten up later. A weather front moves in across the northwest later on. I'll have more of that in a moment. But if you are heading to Wimbledon or watching Wimbledon, today is a bit cloudy, a chance of some drizzle, dry tomorrow and Thursday, but the chance of showers as we head into the weekend. So fairly hit and miss here, as it is for many of us as we head through the next few days. But today we have that weather front in the north, bringing with it rain and showers. Further south is that little bit drier. And yes, a fresher, cooler feel to many of us. The satellite and radar picks out these cloudy grey skies for eastern areas of England where it's dull, damp and drizzly. West is best when it comes to the sunshine this morning. But behind me, here's the weather front and it brings with it more cloud and some patchy rain to western Scotland. That moves in across the northern areas of England as we head through the day. So for Scotland and Northern Ireland, it's sunny spells and some showers, more persistent rain in the northwest later. Sunny spells in the south with just the odd light shower. And temperature-wise, we're looking at 16 to 18 in the north, 17 to 20 in the south, so pretty much where we should be for the time of year. So how do things play out as we head through the next seven days? Well, let's take a look at our outlook. So we have our conditions at the moment with low pressure moving in, high pressure dominated last week. It was the high pressure that brought the heat wave conditions. But low pressure brings with it cloud and rain and a much cooler trend. So first of all, our temperatures, the average line there in the middle, you can see pretty much below average as we head through the next seven days across the north. Percentage chance of rainfall. We can see weather symbols nearly every single day show rain. So we have our rain and showers around today, further rain and showers tomorrow. Lasting into the start of the weekend, it's Sunday that looks driest across the north. Fortunes further south for England and Wales as we head through the next seven days, again, looking at our temperatures, first of all, the average line in the middle where it should be for the time of year, and we're pretty much around about it. So